Welcome back to this next episode in the Faux Calligraphy series. Today we'll be looking at the letters J through to R and how you can make them in lowercase and uppercase lettering. I am using a fine tipped uniball eye rollerball pen and I found it really good for faux calligraphy because you can see how much ink you're laying out. Um, but this technique works with any medium. It can be paintbrush, chalk, pen, pencil, marker. It works with everything. So it's really just about learning the strokes, which strokes to make thick and which strokes to keep thin. Um, if you missed the first two parts of this series, feel free to toggle back to those. I'll have them linked down in the description box. Um, and then we'll have the last one coming next week, which is going to be the final letters in the English alphabet. Um, so let's get started just watching me go through these letters. I am keeping in mind when I'm writing the letters in my normal handwriting first, which strokes are coming down towards my body. They will be considered the down strokes and they're the ones that I will be thickening up. Now in this example, I did actually fail a little bit on the K because I don't like my down stroke. I thickened up the base too much. It's really nice to try and keep your your strokes that you're thickening to a very even thickness. And unfortunately, I, I didn't do it in, in this K. So just ignore that. Try your best to create each letter in your sentence that you're working with, have all the downstrokes be the same thickness. I think that's something that can make it look really professional and neat and realistic. The idea for faux calligraphy is for it to look like brush pen calligraphy or dip pen. And so you really want to get that your max thickness is always the same. Now I am filming these and showing you them in real time so that you can see how much time it takes. It isn't a fast process, um, but it is faster if you are only doing it this one time. You have something that you wanted to create and you wanted it to look like calligraphy, but you haven't put the time into training for calligraphy. So you wanted a quick fix and so you do faux lettering. That is the best purpose I think for it. And it is also just, as I've said in the last videos, it's a great way to learn and understand the actual anatomy of calligraphy and how it looks different from normal cursive. We're now moving on to the capital letters from J to R and remembering that this is just one particular style of font. There are millions of fonts out there that you can get inspiration from for your own practice. This is just one that I personally enjoy and I find it comes a little bit natural to me. Um, so that's why I've chosen to use this. I think it's also quite simple as well. So if you wanted to copy exactly what I'm doing, 
Hopefully by seeing it through in real time, watching what I'm doing and so close up, it'll really give you an idea of how to do it. I'm hoping that that is what you'll take away from this, that you'll not only be able to do this style, you'll be able to do any particular font you choose and be knowing where to thicken up the strokes, which is once again, whenever the pen is moving towards your body down the page. Now, if you're only coming in at this video, I have done two in previous to this. The first episode was showing you the full range of letters from A to Z, um, from the English alphabet, all in one sentence. And that just shows you how they connect together and how it looks in the end in shown in words and sentences. So if you're interested in that, I will link it down in the description box so it's easy to find as well. And then the second video in the series was the first letters A through to I. And I may have gone into more detail in the description, um, but if you wanna check that one out to help with your practice, then feel free.
and working on our final letter, which is R for the remainder of this video. Um, just thickening up that down stroke as it's a stroke that comes towards my body, and then up stroke to the top of the R, and then they've got two down strokes for the loop and the curling tail of the R. I hope you found this video helpful and it helps you with your practice and I will see you in the next one for the remaining letters of the alphabet. For now, have a great day and happy lettering. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.